OK, sorry. So again, guys, in this one, we're looking for sine of x over x. Again, did I already do this problem? No. No. This is the one I was trying to do. I did do a problem like that. I did do a similar. Oh, it wasn't the same. All right, well. Either way, guys, remember you can break this apart. Um, we can rewrite the x under the x and rewrite the x under the 1. So we have limit. This actually isn't the one I was planning on doing. So x over x plus sine of x over x. Please remember, guys, you can break apart the limit to take the limit of each of these separately. So limit as x approaches 0 of x over x, which is just 1, plus the limit as um, sine of x over x, well, as x approaches 0. So obviously, guys, we know that the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 is just going to be 1, plus the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x is 1. So the limit as x approaches 0 of x plus x is going to equal 2. Again, notice how I rewrote re re the limit steps, right? And then you can set it equal at the end. I'm trying to prepare you guys for that next quiz.